guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, today we're just going to be talking about what I've been doing for a few months. I've been training the cow to get onto the stand. Aaron and my brother-in-law, they built me this wonderful milk stanchion. And my goal with these cows is to milk them. Well, to milk Patty. Patty has a great temperament. I have halter trained her and I've trained her how to follow lead. And I've also been training her to the stanchion. In the beginning, when I was starting to get acquainted with Patty, um, I had to bring in my wonderful friends to come and help me, the real cowgirls. And so what we did is we spent hours one day. Like I called them, I said, my cow just had a calf. I need your help, what do I do? Like, I, I have no idea. And so they said, oh my gosh, I'm gonna come over. So they came over and we spent hours, hours training for the halter. And so my friend is amazing. She has um, a degree in animal psychology. And so she knows her stuff. And so I totally trust her. And it was amazing to see her work and to see her train me. <laughs> so this is about protecting your space, right? So I come in. <laughs> see, I'm gonna die. <laughs> and to see her train the cow. And just by the end of the day, like by the end of the morning, we had her trained to walk a little bit on the halter. And so, so that was, that was quite a big deal. Just getting the halter on because these cows were pasture bred. They were pasture raised. They haven't really been handled a lot. And so Patty's two years old, she's almost three and she's never had a halter on her. And so getting that halter was like big step number one to follow and to get her to follow my lead. And so we went over the basics. We went over how your energy needs to be and how, um, how you gotta puff up yourself and just be the boss when cows go into the field there's one boss cow so you have to go in there and you have to show them who's boss so just learning that for me was um, a big step into building that relationship with patty it first started out all i had was bailing twine and aaron had to go to the store to go get the real rope and a real halter and so we got that done and we were able to put her on after we used bailing twine to rope her horns and Get that halter on at first so it's been an adventure because i don't know horns scare me <laughs> i'm always on the guard for horns patty's really good and since that initial training she has not used her horns at all to tap me down or anything like that so then the next step we took was to walk her every day all right you guys we are on that adventure of still halter training my cow she's got horns but we're learning to respect each other and we're learning boundaries so I'm going out again we do this every day so I'll take her out of her pen and then we'll just go for a walk she's actually doing really good so we, I called her to the fence she was laying in the field and I came walking over and she saw me and then she just went straight to her spot and um, just stood there waiting for me to grab her little leash. Hopefully we can have milk in our future. I am like just trying <laughs> so hard. You always have to be careful. She is an animal and you know what? You just have to respect them. So. <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna go out and walk her. Good morning. How are you? Patty loves these things.
after I trained her and after we took our long walks together, Aaron and my brother-in-law built a stanchion. And since we built that stanchion, I've been training her slowly to get into it. The first day was a little rocky because she was sniffing it. She didn't really know what to do. She's like, what is this thing? My horn's banging up against it. Um, so it was a little stressful for her. So she'll walk up here, up here, stick her head through here, and there'll be a feed bucket right here and she'll just eat. And we'll back her up, she'll sit down, boom. All right, so I'm just gonna try and pull her on and just see what she does. See if she like, Wants to get in or not? Just get her kind of used to it. Just see how it goes. Her and her big belly. Yeah, how about we just take it a step at a time? So she'll step up. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. There you go. There you go. You're doing so good. Put her on the stanchion and now she's getting grass. And then she gets back in the pen. So, so far it's doing pretty good. Look at that baby. Your belly's so big. Good girl. Alright, All right, we're gonna go take her back. You gonna come and be with me? Mm -hmm. okay. Are you milking the cow? I am not milking the cow yet. We're just training her still a little bit. So you want that stanchion to be their friend. You don't want that stanchion to be any kind of negative thing. And so it's easy um, 
you just you just want it to be their friend so make it a place that is filled with treats and just a good experience for the cow so that's what I have found and it's working fantastic so far. So when she's in the stanchion, I get her used to being handled. I'll, I'll pet her back, I'll scratch her back. Um, I'll just give her a good scratch behind the ear and I'll um, fill her belly, I'll fill her udders and kind of yank on them and just get her familiar with um, being handled. So after months of training and I, she has a great temperament, I have found that repetition, 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 and just doing it as a daily routine is a big deal. And that is what is um, getting us to be successful at this, huh? So, so first, one of the first things I do is I grab the treats. I have this milking grain and it's a sweet grain. And then I have my treats. These things right here that I lure her in. She loves these things. She's pretty good now after we've been training for so long. She'll just walk right up into the stanchion. It's kind of windy. I got my bucket of treats. I'm gonna grab the hay while I'm at it. My goats are hungry. Right, you guys I hope you had a great time with me today with the cow wrangling and now the next adventure is when she calves and when we start the actual milking process so join us along as we continue on this adventure with our cows we appreciate you coming here we appreciate you supporting our family we would love for you to subscribe follow us along like share this with your friends and yeah, you guys, from the bottom of our hearts, thanks for being with us. And we'll see you in the next video. She's just riding her quad, living her best life. Gotta fix this cow fencing.